All right, what's up, guys? Nitro here, and this is the premiere episode of Overpowered. And right now, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Titans fan, 1238. Say hey. Hey, guys, it is Titans fan, and um, yeah, I'm co-hosting with Nitro. So, and, and yep. Filling in for the absent name you can't hate, who is waiting for his computer to be repaired, we have Street Soul. Hey, guys, what's up? Street Soul 21 here. I go Nitro with Overpowered. And our first guest, Mr. Chaos Silencer. What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me on here. Really appreciate it, and I'm glad to be on the first episode of Overpowered. All right, so to get into things, since this is the first episode, basically everybody's going to introduce themselves. So my name is Nitro1473. YouTube channel is Lukasha76. I am a PlayStation 3 gamer. Used to have an Xbox, but uh, that broke. Everybody knows about the Xbox thing. Uh, I'm 21 years old, university student, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about myself for now as I pass the reins over to Titans fan. Uh, hey, guys. It is Titans fan 12388, and um, I'm a PS3 user. Uh, I have a total amount of, like, 28 subs. Um, I'm 15, and, yeah, that's basically all, my real name is Brandon, and that's really all I need to say in here, Street Soul. Hey guys, Street Soul 21 here, and my real name is Sam. Uh, my channel has about 393 subscribers at the moment. Well, I'm a P- PS3 gamer and a survivor of the PS3 outage 2011. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah. Alright, Jimmy, if you'd introduce yourself to everybody. So it feels like we're at kind of like an AA meeting. I'm a PS3 user. I'm an Xbox user. <laughs> it's good stuff. Guys, yeah, this yeah. is Chaos Silencer, otherwise Jimmy. Um, I'll just say the information. These guys said I'm 30 years old, proud dad, have a beautiful girlfriend, um, have a great life, do YouTube for the fun of it. My channel's got almost 4,200 subscribers, and I'm an Xbox user, uh, a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's it so, in a nutshell. Uh, that is it in a nutshell. Basically, everybody's got the same story. YouTube is just a hobby, but I definitely have to say that YouTube is a great place to meet people. All yes, these people is. that are here right now, that's where I met them from, all from YouTube. And it's definitely if you want to, you know, you're tired of getting stomped by all those pub stars out there, starting your YouTube channel out and meeting some people is definitely a great way to get some good teams out there. But uh, yeah. getting into the show, what we're going to talk about right now is the struggle struggles of being a small commentator. Now, uh, most of us in here, other than Jimmy, are pretty small. My channel has 149 subs. Titans fan has 28, and <laughs> Street Soul has 300 and 93. 93, almost 400. Yeah, almost 400. So basically, we're going to take Jimmy's advice here and. Basically, try to find a way for you guys as we go from special guest to special guest. We're going to try to find ways to get you guys from the basement to somebody that's known. And uh, speaking from myself, I definitely, early on, I started my series and my map breakdowns. And honestly, it, it was really sad to see it because, you know, I'd be getting 500 views on each of these videos, but yet nobody would seem to want to stay. Wow, you know, 500 views? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The tips tips. When I had started. Uh, my tips and tricks videos, they all got 500 views each easy, and uh, I wasn't really getting any subs. And honestly, I didn't get any subs until Name You Can't Hate got into March Madness, and then I picked up. I think uh, that's tips and tricks is pretty popular of a name. So, like, it's like saying putting a montage in YouTube, there's so much of them pop up. Yeah. But uh, definitely with me, like, I got these Mortal Kombat videos out now. Two of them have over 3K views, and uh, one of them has 2,400 views, and I'm still sitting at 149 and sitting there for a while. But uh, that's my struggles. Yeah. If anybody yeah, else wants fan. to get into theirs. Well, you guys can already tell my struggles have 28 subs. <laughs> <laughs> All 28 of them or so. Well, the biggest problem with your channel is the fact that you don't have HDPVR yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I'm getting one this summer, and uh, I'm getting my laptop, so assume soon I will have an HDPVR. Um, well, 
for me, I started a lot like about a year ago making Skate 3 video montages and stuff like that because what was the thing with street, Skate 3 is you could upload videos to the website and you could download them from the website. So it's easy videos, easy editing, stuff like that. I did that for about, um, I'd say about five months for a team that I started called Street Soul Crew, which I eventually, which eventually disbanded and I took the name for myself and mo- most people know me as Street Soul now. Um, then I moved on to playing, I wanted to commentate really, really bad. I didn't have a PBR, so I went on to uh, PC gaming and played some Minecraft for a very long time. That got my channel started, and I met Name You Can't Hate. Um, now I'm doing Black Ops, um, Skype prank call series, and some other stuff like that. And uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. YouTube's fun. Yeah, now on to chaos. That, that prank call stuff was fun. <laughs> I remember that yeah. prank call stuff. So, Jimmy, just to give you a little introduction of what happened basically once psn was down we had nothing to do with ourselves so we just sat on skype all day <laughs> just a huge, huge group of us and we used to call hsn over, network. over and over and over again and just <laughs> order knife sets <laughs> uh, and yeah, there'll be a nice. link in the description to one of them if you guys want to see it yeah i got a couple on my channel i got you know Street Soul has a bunch on his, but that oh, is what yeah. we did with ourselves to get over the hump, and it was it was definitely a lot of fun. It actually turned I, into a series on my channel. I had a couple ones, and I really went into it with some editing, with adding some pictures and stuff like that to it. I never really yeah, watched one. prank calls, and then uh, I, uh, on my montage Monday, I did a shout out for Mr. Technique or Mr. Technical, and I oh, watched yeah. some of his where they prank call the hookers, and it's just yeah. oh my god, it's the funniest shit in the world. You're like uh, mine then. Every, every Friday at work, I, I play that Rebecca Black one that's on my channel. Just people just die at work. <laughs> the ending is the best. The ending is the best. Remember the one I did on with your channel, Nitro? Yeah, that one that was, was funny. Okay, so basically I'm sitting there and like somebody opened this call, but nobody was there. So this guy's on there, and I'm just typing. I'm typing the Titans fan. I'm like, yo, talk to this guy, and he just no idea who this guy was, but he got into a full out conversation with him. I was just dying. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I don't, even know, I don't even know how you knew who was talking. I have no then, idea. Cause I, I think I was with Name and uh, Street Soul and a couple other people. Yeah. And um, they were doing prank calls, and I could kind of tell it was HSN by the voice and the computer thing. And, uh, yeah, and it said I, HSN a lot. Yeah, I kind of knew the like the item code, so I kind of just went along with it. And uh, it actually turned out very well. It was funny as hell. It was. Uh, I did some... I did some prank calls uh, where I made up my own character called Bubba, and his voice sounded like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a big old Texan man living in the swamps of Louisiana. He, <laughs> wa- he likes to buy some dog bones for his dog named Rufus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and uh, I used that voice for uh, a, a huge, huge, where I kept this lady on the line for a very long time. <laughs> uh, like for two two segments of like eight minutes each, I, I love yeah. Where I'm where I'm saying the most I'm trying to get her to hang up and she won't until I say it, I have no money, <laughs> uh, and then she's just like okay bye. I love that one. Like oh, sex girl. Mm-hmm. Remember sex the one girl. that I think the the one with name you can't hate. He ordered like uh, twenty of them and it was like five k. Like it was it was worth like five thousand dollars worth of nice sets. <laughs> Do they actually think we're gonna buy five thousand dollars worth of nice hits? All right, let's get on to yeah. Chaos. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Jim, now that we got onto this rant of prank calls, <laughs> small commentators. So, what do you recommend to the people in order to break the hump? Man, there, there's, there'd be so much, and then again, so little. I mean, first, right off the bat, if when you're starting out, if you're not doing it because you enjoy it, don't do it at all because there are, and I don't want to be, I'm not trying to be negative in any way, but it's reality. There are thousands of people right now that, that want to commentate. So if you, once you get in there and, and you realize that, and you realize you're among a big number and you really want to persevere and get your head above the water, I would say, like you were saying a minute ago, Nitro, you did these tips and tricks and, and Mortal Kombat and stuff, and you got all these views, but nobody stuck around, right? Right. Well, they didn't stick around because they didn't relate to you. 
And and that's the biggest thing I saw right off the bat was I tried to make my subscribers relate to me and 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 relate back to them, communicate with them over and over. And if you'll look at some of my videos, you'll see the the comment sections. It's just it's it's like a hundred long lost friends every time I put up a video and we talk back and forth. And I think that they when they touch base personally with you and you do some commentaries about yourself and then you you interact with them other than something just a montage or tips and trick they really it's it's an attachment it's a bond it's a friendship and i think that's a really really big key for somebody just starting out to to kind of get a leg up on the competition don't sub for sub i mean yeah, if you don't oh my God. don't ever ever even if you're getting desperate a- because all you're doing is getting a dead, and I I, I, I disagree with some commentators. I'll, I we I have other I have friends that they say, well, I'm going to subscribe to my my subscribers. I'm gonna I'm gonna help them out and do what they did for me. And I disagree with that because you're doing them an injustice because you're not going to go through your inbox and watch a thousand subscriber videos. So you're not doing them any good. All you're doing is giving them a dead subscriber. Yeah. So don't I'm subscribe active. unless you want to watch the person's content and you enjoy them um another big thing to me would be you i already said you have to be you have to get personal with them you have to kind of get your niche you got to find something that you're original at and you guys are already on the right track because like nitro contacting me i think it was nitro contacting me didn't you yeah it was me yeah right there is is something different because you're 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 doing a game show or you're doing a talk show now don't get me wrong there's talk shows out there but you're reaching out, you're networking, and you didn't you didn't know me from Adam. You didn't know if I'd reply, and it was the same for me when when I was when I was your size. I sent who was it? I sent a couple people, man. Um, wanted I did the whole spiel. I want to do it. Let's do a dual calm. You've heard it all. Blah blah blah. And mm-hmm. I got lucky and raw instinct kind of befriended me befriend, befriended me and kind of taught me the ropes of what was going on. And you have to have some luck, but you also mm-hmm. have to have yeah. somebody. You have to have appeal. Yeah, you have to have appeal. It, it, that's not hard to do because every person's unique. They just have to show it. But mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. you, uh, you, you have to get lucky too. I'm, I'll, I'll say it. You have to get lucky. You have to get somebody to to give you a shot because channels don't grow. I'll put it this way. I, I got I got to be a moderator on Monkey Nation. I met OG Walrus, who's on there. And the day I got put in the sub box on Monkey Nation, which is Brass Monkey's channel. I don't know if you guys know Brass Monkey. He does the apps yeah, for know. iPhones. Well, Eric got to do a dual calm with X Jaws that day. Mm-hmm. And he gained like 2,000 subscribers. And I got like 50 or to 100 just being in the sub box. And you, you think about it. And when you first start your channel, everybody's thinking, oh, if I can just get a dual calm or a shout out from one of these big guys, it's over. It doesn't work that way because you'll get your shout out. You'll get some subscribers. Some will stick around. Some of them won't. My my suggestion is as soon as you get a burst like that, you go do a video and thank them and 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 tell them you mm-hmm. want them on board and tell them what you're all about. But then you're back to normal and you're like, well, now what do I do? And it's you it's do what like you do. a do what street soul. You do what you do. You do yeah, what you exactly. You gotta you, you gotta persevere. I mean, it's there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. Don't get me wrong. When my channel. I mean, lately, it's been growing fast, and if 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 I don't grow 50 subscribers a day, I'm disappointed. But in the big picture, I I need to not take it for granted that I was in your guys's position just a couple of months ago, and 50 subscribers to other people is a big deal. So I try to keep a reality check on what I'm doing. We all want to grow, we all want to get yeah. out there, we all want to be seen, but. I would say the biggest thing is perseverance. Don't get down when you're not growing a bunch. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't step out of the box and try to that's be something right. you're not. That's I mean, what that's, that's right what now. I can give, guys. I could go on and on, but obviously we only have a certain amount of time, so that would be my keys. Yeah. That makes right. that makes complete sense because look, yeah, look at Eric the Aviator. That's yeah. exactly what he yeah. does. He's always like, you know, he basically right off the bat introduced everybody to his house where he lived, yep. talked about himself. Yeah. yeah. And that's, uh, I think I that's can relate the spin to that. that everybody wanted to see. You have to because yeah. a lot of the shout-outs are impulse. Let's say you go to Walmart and you, you buy something and you see the candy bars and the Red Bulls and stuff right by the checkout. It's impulse to grab one, right? Well, uh-huh. if T. Martin is saying, go check out Eric the Aviator, whether you give a damn about Eric the Aviator, your impulse is to go subscribe <laughs> because T. Martin said to. 
Yep. <laughs> but are you going to stick around and be an active viewer? And he he's smart about that. That's why he introduced. He he kind of gave you a a bot off of the the pie or whatever to see what he's all about to get you to stick around. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can relate to that to the people I'm subscribed to now. Uh, anyone know Kutra? No idea. No. No idea no. either. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's one of my favorite subscri- uh, subscriptions I have right now because he makes videos probably three a day, three a day, oh, and uh, his commentary is just my top. Because he has friends that are like hilarious. Like, there's no break in the commentary. There's never a day where there's just zero views or videos. It's all it's continuous all the time. It's like this guy has a Red Bull, like twelve packs of Red Bull next to his computer. And he's just <laughs> taking one every ten day, every like ten hours, just making was, more videos. I was gonna throw something in there real quick on that before we change subjects, yeah. and it, it, not to put any heat to the to the bottom of people's feet, but the, and I'm all about. Uh, you can ask anybody. I'm no BS. I'm gonna tell you how it is. And right now, uh, I wouldn't even try to gauge a number of commentators, but right now, no more than ever, do you need to get people to to like you for you and get your head above yeah. water because I promise you when Modern Warfare 3 gets here out here the <laughs> number of commentators is going to triple and oh, yeah. it's just going to be a sea of commentators at the bottom and if you can get your head up before that then you definitely have a shot if you're looking to grow and and be bigger if you can get your your channel Above most people on Black Ops, this, the second this new game's released, you're already going to be above the exactly, exactly the starting pool because people the, are going to be yeah. jonesing so much to to see gameplay and see thoughts and strategies yep. and everything. Just like, like a, every time a new game comes out, <clears throat> right? But there's also going to be there's going to be a wave of new people that think they can come commentate and they're going to go grab mm-hmm. a PVR and and they're going to wonder why I'm putting out great content, but Nobody's subscribing because there's there's just literally tens of thousands of them now. And that's what it makes it kind of hard being a PS3 guy because we're always a month yeah. behind on the maps. And we're yeah. always yeah. lose out on a ton there. Yeah. And right. we always never get a chance to play with those people. We never get a chance to contact yeah, them. Yeah, Xbox has a lot of more people. Way you're more. Def- you're definitely right, it does. Uh, speaking yeah. of one guy that's like persevered, I have him in my sub box. Like he, He's a let's player. His name's Wolfman11983. Ah, He's a pure Let's player, but he has 700, 700 plus videos out there, and he only has 202 subs. And uh, um, I've got to know this guy. I've befriended him a bit. He's a real good guy, and he is one guy that does it purely for the love of just playing games. And, you know, the subscribers that he does have, you know, he's a close relationship with them. Like I said, like right. me, you know, I watch I, his videos. I have some, too watched his videos and like you know, this is the type of the guy that you can just fall asleep listening to because his voice is just soothing and right you know, someone's actually told me that someone's actually said your voice is easy to listen to and some people what something that really meant to me that a lot to me was when someone said your videos make my day that was mm. huge for me i was like okay i'm totally gonna it's actually worse putting up videos yeah that's another thing yeah. when you get we comments should... even when you get bigger if you get a comment that makes you smile, comment back to the person. Let them know yeah, I did. that you listened. Let them know that yeah. Let them know that that you heard them and and that you appreciate it. All right, next subject, I think. Right. <laughs> okay, if you guys want to move on. Uh, <laughs> so basically, two people we're gonna ask this question to, and it's going to be Street Soul and Chaos. We're gonna yeah. ask you your favorite game of all time. Yeah. And talk about it a bit. Tell you tell everybody why you loved it. We'll have some footage out there of the game so we can show people what it's about. All right. So, Chaos, what is your favorite game of all time? That means back, are we talking all the way nostalgic back to Atari? Or are we talking like we're, now? We're talking about everything, everything from Atari to now. <laughs> My favorite game of all time is Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past on Super NES. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what favorite I favorite game. That's, that's the classic. one I can pull. That's the one I can pull so many memories from. Me and my best friend calling the Nintendo Power Hotline when we wow. got stuck in 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 dungeons and stuff. I mean, just <laughs> epic memories. That's that's it uh, for me all time. All right, um, my favorite game would probably be uh, Castlevania: uh, Simon's Quest. Good stuff. That game. Yeah. That game was like the first game I've ever played, and then that's the game I go back to if I ever 
hate Black Ops, or if I ever don't <laughs> want to play a game, I go back to uh, some some old retro stuff. Really, Simon's Quest? Yeah, Simon's That's Quest. That's a good I game. Like the, the video game nerd hates that. James hates that game. Ooh, video. Oh yeah, the video, and also uh, Eco Raptor doesn't like it either. But anyway, um, is that all we have to say about if favorite that's, games? That's all you guys want to say about your favorite games? Well, uh, I could I could say that uh, that that game probably made most of my uh, most of my like that's what set the the path for me wanting to play video games from when I was little. Well, Same thing for uh, what was it called? Um, like whenever I got my GameCube, <laughs> playing um, Super Smash Bros. Melee. That game's still, still a lot of fun to have. Just pull out whenever we got a friend over. If we're talking oh, set fun. the path, I got to go back to freaking Atari. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm the old one here, and I remember getting the wood grain 2600 edition with the <laughs> with the wood on top, and I remember Yars Revenge Combat. Um, oh, Combat. Pole position, pitfall. Pole position, man. I mean, asteroid. Uh, I mean, you talking? Uh, yeah, you talking classic games? If you want to talk about where it started for me. Yeah. All right. See, for me, I I did not play any of those games. The only game I had was like Mario Kart. Games were so easy back then. You had a red button and a, a joystick. That was it. Yeah. Was then funny. I mean, you could I could go all the uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out for NES and all the Mario games were nostalgic to me. Super Mario 3. I remember... You guys ever watched the movie The Wizard? Yeah. Yep. I remember watching uh, that when it came that. out, and I was like, holy shit, how did this kid know that there's whistles here and all this, and ran to my friend's house, and we stayed up all night trying to find the whistles and stuff. It was great. Great yeah. stuff. <laughs> Definitely. That's that's where I, I was going to save mine, but you guys just gave me feelings for my game again. <laughs> but... Uh, I definitely started with the Nintendo. That was my first console. Played a lot of Mario. Mega Man back oh. in the day was Mega huge Man, for yeah. Me. I used to. Yeah. I started off with number four, then got number five, and played number two. I played a lot of them since then. One and but, two were hard, hard games. Yeah, two was very hard. But four was my first one, and a lot of people Sandy's say. Quest was a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it was hard too. Four. Lots of people say that's where Mega Man went down, but four is still my favorite one. I love that game. Like. uh me and my mom used to play all the time, so I guess that's kind of why, you know, it's family time. But uh, Man, games are powerful. I, I mean, if people laugh at it and just say, oh, video games, but yeah, video games can link a lot of really powerful memories and good times and stuff that people have, like you said, with your mom. I mean, I remember mine with my brother. I mean, they're it's strong stuff. Yeah, I had a lot of old friends that I've lost a while back, but... Uh... Not like died, but I mean, not. well, some <laughs> actually have died. No, 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 no joke. But um, uh, yeah, I had a lot of friends that I remember playing these old games with, uh, like Mario Smash Bros. Melee. Um, just having a good time playing with that game all day, probably all night, and then mom saying, "Go to bed," and we would turn off the lights and uh, and then just basically turn the TV back on, and get back on. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here, I've got a scenario for you real quick before we move on. About a year ago, we were playing Gears, and we were playing Horde, and I got some guys from work came over, and we had a 73-inch TV, a 60-inch oh, TV, and a 42-inch TV, and we had them all linked up, and we, we had a big recliner, like a half-moon recliner, and we were just <laughs> rocking Gears all night on those. You can see it on my oh, Facebook. Man. It's crazy, crazy. Oh, man. That's, that's what me and my friends do all the time. We sit in his basement or my you know, spot. <laughs> they all bring their PlayStations over, and we just sit downstairs. We play like zombies. That's where we all have our own TV. Split screen sucks. <laughs> but, uh, all right. If I, have, uh, if I have to say my favorite game of all time, it is Dark Cloud 2. Dark Best, Cloud? Dark Cloud 2. See, what, what game is that? I have no idea what games you guys are talking about. Like the Cyber <laughs> thing and the... This is this was, it, was, it was on PlayStation 2. It was a PlayStation 2 game. I had PS2, yeah. Uh, oh, and- you know what game I liked on PlayStation 2 a lot? Uh, Indigo Prophecy. You yeah, want to play that? Play that game I, I, the only game That's like the only- early Heavy Rain, basically, if you didn't know. The only games I played were Madden and, like... The only game I ever played was, like, Madden oh, 06. <laughs> you don't have any feelings for a game, but Dark Cloud 2... Let's <laughs> <laughs> just say that. Me and my buddy... We uh, we were in it was the summer of grade eight before we started high school. He was going to a different high school than me, and basically the whole summer, we just stayed at each other's houses. We switched in between days, and we just 
We both had a copy of it. And we just played that game. Like, I probably have a good 300 hours flat playing this game. <laughs> it honestly has the best storyline in any game. Like, I, I would put it ahead of Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I hate those uh, games. Like, gameplay, like, you can just play it over and over. And even though it's, like, a repetitive style, it's, a, you know, kind of a beat em up Just the storyline gets you so compelled with the characters and you get so involved. It's just, like... Like, I remember one time before I got it, my buddy was at the, the final boss in the game, eh? And, like, he used to come over to my house every weekend, and I used to just watch him play, because, like, the storyline was that good that I could just sit there and just watch. Like a movie. Because <laughs> that, that's pretty much what it was. It was a movie. The cutscenes are just so incredible. Like, the graphics were awesome for the time, and that game was just amazing. But I remember, and he wanted to go to bed, and I was I couldn't remember, because you needed a code to get into the final boss. You had to remember the name. And I couldn't remember the name, and I'm, like, trying to get him to tell me it. And he's like, no, 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 we'll play it tomorrow. So whatever, I went to bed, and he woke up before me, and he started a new game. And when I woke up, he went to save it so he could play it, and he overwrote the file. Oh. He overwrote, so that was, like, 70 hours of playing time that he just lost because he overwrote the file. And, uh, yeah, I honestly oh. think to this day he hasn't beat it. He overwrote it, like, five times. And I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fail. Yeah. Um, do you want to continue? But the, I don't <laughs> That's all I have about games, so I guess we can That's move, all on. We have, move yeah. on to the yeah. move on to the babes of the week, I guess. We'll get some multiple perspectives here. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean by like babes of the week meaning like any girl in the world or Yeah, like well any like like, like celebrity. superstar. Celebrity that's known. Um, I don't know, man. There's so much hot girls. Alright, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, like I, I said, I had my girlfriend help me. Where we picked one, and you guys ever seen anything with um, Scarlett Johansson in it? Yes, Scarlett Johansson. She was the girl in Iron Man Two, the yeah, in Iron secretary. Man yeah, so there. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty genius. You know, like Jessica Simpson, she's hot. <laughs> Jessica Simpson. Oh God, <laughs> she's very beautiful. Oh wait, wait, in the movie, um, ah, oh, Deuce of Hazard. Holy Deuce crap! Of we were doing Hazard. a live stream today, and I was asking the guys to get their opinion to see who I should say tonight, and they said, um, Oprah Winfrey and Barbara Walters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Barbara nice. Walters. Nice. I'd say Betty White would be one of the ones. Hey, yeah, Betty White's Betty. hot. I'm joking. No, 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 don't take that as much. <laughs> Golden Girls. Cool. That show oh, yeah. was actually really you guys good. Know I like that show. Sophia, the the mom, the old one. Did you know she was the yeah. youngest one on that? Seriously? Yeah, yes. She's the youngest one of all the crew. Yeah. She was I wearing a wig. That. that was a wig she had on. She had red hair, and she was the youngest of the four. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I heard the like the kind of like sluttish girl die first or something like that. Um, you know the what was her name? Blanche. Blanche. Yeah. Blanche. The one that would like. Yeah. Sex- sleep with every guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love that show, man. Yeah, I love that show, too. Uh, that show was awesome. Here, my favorite... Like, no, probably, that was, like, one of the best shows. I remember that <laughs> my, show. <laughs> my baby of the week... Uh, my baby of the week is probably going to be... Uh, uh, I can't remember now. Um, oh, yeah, Jeff Jennifer Lopez. She sure. is... Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong there. She's yeah, pretty legit. Because she's still on her game, like... How long has it been that she's been Ten years, like an years. artist, and she's like still that, and she can still sing, and she's <laughs> still on like the top of the you know, charts right now. Yeah, one girl I think is very overrated. I don't like Megan Fox. Like, Megan Fox. <laughs> I was about to say, if anyone says Megan Fox, you're a tool. My girlfriend told me to say that. She was actually getting upset as I she's had baby peak, and she's like, "What? Well, I'm not big enough for you." Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, you should pick Megan Fox because even I think she's a babe, but I think she's overrated too. Yeah, me too. She's like, I agree. I think she got too much into her looks that she looks like shit now. Basically, if you compare it to like the movie Transformers, she looks pretty bad now. I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I'm going to have to agree with my boy's academics and what he said way back in the day, and I'm gonna have to go with Kari Byron. <laughs> she's a smoke show. She. Is. <laughs> Mythbusters girl, just in case anybody is including in, you will see a picture in the video. <laughs> you will see. Any, anybody agree or disagree with me? Uh, I agree with you. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, same. All right, relationship advice, anyone? All right, so oh, uh, yeah. I got a little little story here from somebody that wrote in, very very dedicated subscriber of mine, <laughs> and this is what he wrote. 
Dear Nitro, I met this girl in the craziest, most amazing way, and I think that she might be the one for me. The way we met was so crazy. Things like this don't happen normally. I've been talking to her for a few weeks now, and she is honestly the female me. We like all the same things, and she even likes video games. This girl is an absolute rocket, and I don't really think a geeky guy like myself would have much of a chance with someone like this. At least, uh, someone like this. She's so beautiful and smart. Uh, she is honestly everybody's friend, and for some reason, she seems to like me. At least, I think. The only kicker is, is she's in sort of a long-distance relationship. And she talks about this guy a lot. She tells me almost everything, and even though it's been a short time, we are very close. I need some advice on how to come about to this. Uh, I need to get my feelings out, but at the same time, know she feels the same without making things too awkward. Please help. Sincerely, the geeky video game nerd. First of all, the long distance things not gonna, won't work. Not if it. Yeah. I mean, not if it doesn't change. I mean, that's that's my opinion. So he sure, that, he's got sure. that working in his favor. Um, he needs to find out though if she's looking at him. He said they're exactly alike. She's the girl version of him. That that can be good and bad because you you want I don't know you want somebody that contrasts you that that you guys bring your own stuff to the table. And I don't know she she may be thinking like the the dreaded this is my best friend thing you know best friend yeah the best friend thing. Like, yeah, I got you. I know that's that's definitely what you have to avoid, but I completely agree. Long-distance relationships never work. Yeah, so he People doesn't really always... have to worry about that one, but I think he should really open his mouth pretty quick and yep. and see see how she feels. I mean... There's, there's definitely plays on words that you can use to try to get... try to fish information out of her without her actually knowing. I wouldn't even do mad. that, Nitro. If I were him, straight, I would straight, straight on straight. ask her. Yeah, straight on, just ask, like, tell her how you feel, feels in the rooms, and just see if she feels the same way. I'd tell that girl I won't put my dang in her. Yeah. Just pick a good time and, and ask yeah, don't to be open with it. Soul. Don't, don't, don't listen to Street Soul. Don't go to Street Soul. Street Soul. Don't say that. Put them on the right shoulder right now. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I agree with that, I guess. I know the long distance thing will not work. Long distance yeah. things never work. People try to make them work, but That's in the idea. end, you, you need to have Lots emotional bond here. You need to have that shoulder to cry on. You guys so, want to, you want to, you want me to ask Ashley? She's right behind me. Get a girl's perspective. Sure. Let's get the girl Ashley's in here. Why not? Ashley, come here real quick. He had a guy <laughs> write in and he, he really has a thing for a girl. They're really good friends. He thinks she's his him as a girl, but she's in a long distance relationship with another guy, and he doesn't know what he should do. She's leaning on him. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think she just wants to be his the best friend type? No. See, yeah, uh, that's what you have to. That's the worst thing that could happen. All right. Well, she was pretty harsh about it. She said that there's a good chance she's leading him on. She wants somebody there to to talk to and take care of her while the the guy's away until he gets back. That's another perspective to look at. That's a woman's point of view right there. Oh. Well, apparently, when they're at school oh together, because they go to the same school, she's all over them. She, so, yeah. yeah, I think maybe... That's, that's another well, he thing. needs to look at that as then she's not that faithful one way or another if she's in a relationship with a long-distance guy. I mean, that yeah, that could be him as the long-distance guy if you put it on the other shoe. Yeah, She might be Oops. using him. He's probably not going to like this video, Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you say please help, this yeah. is what you yeah. get. This is basically what this segment's for. It's Dude, just just, to... uh, just open up and straight ask her. Don't don't try to feed her little stuff and try to come across it. Just straight up ask her if if you have a chance or if you guys have a chance. And if so, then she needs to obviously make a decision on what she's doing with the other guy. Mm -hmm. All right, there's relationship advice. That's relationship advice. Now yeah. for the special. And if it and doesn't most... work out, try not to. Get over it, because they'll be... Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, on, to the the next, on to the next one. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on before we make this guy cry. <laughs> <laughs> the, most, the most spectacular and stupendous who wants to be a video game millionaire. 
And our very first contestant, Jimmy Chaos Silencer. I don't know what his last name is. I probably it's it's obviously it Silencer. It's Search Silencer. M, but it's, yes. it's yeah. Jimmy Silencer. Jimmy Silencer. <laughs> okay. Jimmy Chaos Silencer. There you go. Jimmy, the middle name's Chaos, Chaos Silencer. Silencer. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Jimmy? I, I, not really, but hit me with it. <laughs> All right, so basically we're going to just do a little breakdown of the rules for you. Uh, you're going to have 30 seconds to answer each question. I'm hoping that you're going to be a good guy and not try to Google the answers. <laughs> you do have your three lifelines. Uh, they're going to be a little bit simplified. Your 50-50 is going to still be your basic 50-50. Okay. Uh, your phone a friend. Is I'm going to let you just either. ask one of the guys that's – yeah. Here right now to Google the answer for you. Right, and try to try to find it in 30 seconds. So I'm just telling, by that's telling you right now. Voices, you have Hold to up. pick up which one's the faster typer. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what's my third lifeline? Your third lifeline is going to be asked the audience. So I'm just going to get both these guys. <laughs> if you want to throw Ashley in, okay, you can get her advice, and we'll just throw all the answers up there. Ashley, and... come down here and help me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't choose myself because my computer's shit. So, just I'm, I'm doing. I'm in a game show for the end of the show, so I have three lifelines. Okay, I'm ready to roll. All right, so pretty much, uh, that's basically it. It's uh, basic video game knowledge. Yep, great. We're gonna start you off with something familiar in Call of Duty, but then it's gonna branch to just about everything else under the sea. This is karma for me doing my questions on my one v one the game show. All right, come on. All right. So, question number one. How many attachments does the Spaz 12 have? Is it A, 2, B, 8, C, 6, or D, 1? D, 1. Is that your final answer? <laughs> final answer. It's a silencer. That's absolutely correct. Oh. All right. Give me the silencers. Question number two. Donkey, Ton- uh, Donkey Kong is what type of creature? Is it A, hedgehog? B, beaver, C, gorilla, or D, donkey? It's C, gorilla. Well, I want to say beaver, but it's C, gorilla. <laughs> donkey, beaver. Question the number three. How many controller ports does the Nintendo 64 have? Is it A, four, B, three, C, two, or D, 27? It would be A, four. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. D, 27. <laughs> this next little bit of question question number four what was Sega's final video game console was it A the Dreamcast B the Saturn C Playstation or D Genesis it was A Dreamcast that's correct alright so question number five this one's super easy. What is the name of Mario's brother? Is it a, <laughs> Luigi, B, Link, C, Anton, or D, <laughs> Anton, that's hilarious. It's Luigi. <laughs> that's correct. You have made it to the $1,000 question. So that means in the point leaderboard that I'm going to have, you're going to walk away with no less than 1000 Ooh. Ooh. You guys can PayPal that to me. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Remember, it's honor points, honor points. I got you. <laughs> honor Question points. Number six, 2,000 honor points. Released in 1987, what title helped Nintendo Entertainment System to become the best-selling toy in America? Was it A, Mega Man, B, Super Mario Brothers, C, The Legend of Zelda, or D, Metroid? I'm going to do 50-50. All right, mm-hmm. that leaves you with A, Mega Man, and C, The Legend of Zelda. C, Legend of Zelda. Final answer? Yes. That's correct. Ooh. Oh! That was a little clutch right there. That was, that was nice, clutch. Jimmy. Thank you, sir. That was sir. an ace. That was an ace. <laughs> this ace I could have been. been a dick there and been Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda. I thought you were going to leave me with Mario <laughs> Brothers and Legend of Zelda. I thought I'd be a nice guy since you're the first contestant. All right, $4,000 question. What does the company name Sega stand for? Is it A, Scotch Entertainment Gaming America, 
B, Semter Fields. C, Scotch Entertainment Gaming Anonymous. Or D, Service Games. I want to phone a friend. Okay. All right, which of our lovely in callers would you like? Street to... Soul, Google. I got it. Yeah. yeah. I'll go with Service Games. Okay, what he said. Service Games, is that your final answer? Yes. That's correct. Nice. You took the, my advice, my computer blows. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chief, uh, so that leaves you with one lifeline left. Let's ask the audience. You are on question number eight. $8,000 question. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Here it is. In all the Mega Man games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, how many robot masters could you choose from the stage select screen in total? Is it A, 46, B, 52, C, 48, or D, 54? Okay, (laughs) say the question one more time. In all the Mega Man games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, how many robot masters could you choose from the select stage screen in total? In all of the games. All the games from all- one through however many there were on NES. And what are the what, what are my are options choices? again? Is it A forty six, B fifty two, C forty eight, or D fifty four? Fifty two and fifty four. That's really a tight window. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um. I've got an answer, but I might as well let me do ask the audience. All right, audience. We went through this question before the show, so <laughs> I should know the answer. <laughs> I didn't even remember it now. I'm sorry, man. I have no if, idea. Well, if, oh, wait, 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 wait. You want I to have an answer. Question over again. I, I, I would, I would go with fifty-two. Me too. Oh. I was thinking about that. Fifty-two is kind of a. It's a nice number. That's what I would guess. It's my cartoon channel on my cable. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go against the audience and I'm gonna go with a number that's divisible by eight because there's eight <laughs> guys on the screen at a time. Oh, that's right. And I'm gonna say 48. Is that your final answer? Yep. I'm sorry, Jimmy. The answer is 46. Uh, <laughs> we were both in wrong. In the first Mega Man, there were only six characters. Oh, to choose from. so close. But uh, uh, you left with a thousand dollars. If a tiebreaker is in order, you made it up to the eighth question. But uh, thank you for coming on to the show. Jimmy, yep. Chaos Silencer. Not it a problem. A, can I, can I do a quick question? Can I do a quick promo clip real quick? Absolutely. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, go. Anybody who's watching, guys, uh, first of all, uh, thanks to Nitro, Titans, and Street for having me on. Awesome, mm-hmm. awesome stuff. I like the way you guys did the format. I hope it goes big. I will help you out with it however I can. Guys, also, check out, I just started a game show on my channel called 1v1 The Game Show, and this week it is Fuzzy Otterballs against I Am The Attack, and Dang. these two dudes are funny as shit, so you guys should get a kick out of it. It should be good stuff. And once again, guys, thanks for having me on. This was fun. I, I, I really enjoyed this. It was a blast. Not a problem. Yeah. I'm glad you came on. Thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for you all the help you give us in the future. Just so you guys know, everybody that is in this chat will be in the description. That's Titans Fan, Street Soul, and Jimmy, as okay. well as myself, but this is my channel that you're watching it on. I'm also going to leave a link to Jimmy's 1v1. And also, uh, what up, what up? Oh, yeah, my... Yeah, Street uh, Soul's uh, comedy prank act. Car. Prank call. Prank, prank call. call, and... With Bubba. Brandon, while you're at it, do you want me to leave a link to one of your videos? Sure. Um, maybe my new uh, my new live com. The it's two for one gameplay, right. and it's about sixteen minutes long. It's not that bad, but I'm also coming out with uh, me and uh, Nitro are planning to do a dual com over some Mortal Kombat. I'm not much of a Mortal Kombat player, so uh, just stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you for having. Thanks for uh, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> thanks for Jimmy. Thanks for Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> you jimmy all right thanks jimmy and thanks for everybody that watched this i hope that you enjoyed overpowered the show to make your weekend not so bad going into monday uh that is everything and i am nitro 1473 signing out our premiere episode of overpowered 
Let's try yeah. to get overpowered to trending word on Twitter. Come on, guys. Yay. Yeah. Yay. So I've seen that a lot. Let's talk to you guys later. Peace. All right, guys. All right, peace out, guys.